when was the first time you got a rap check? Like, when was the very first time getting a rap check? Uh, uh, I just got a royalty check, my royalty statements. I just started getting them last year from Real One and Netflix and uh, Kicks USA and Live Nation. Okay. Um, features count too, as far as rap checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, shit, features. I was doing features, you know, a little $350, $500. I was doing that about four or five years ago. Okay. You know what I mean? So, what, like 2011? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and before that, yeah, 2009. And right now, it's like I'm getting thousands of dollars for rapping and 2500 and three grands and five grands and shit like that you know do you remember the very first rap check you got i can't i can't remember bro to keep it a being with you i'm pretty sure it was a feature rather than a show though right. it was off of a feature i mean right a lot of people like me on features because I, I bring a lot I, I come with the fucking original beat i'm coming with the whole concept to the feature you know some sometimes a nigga might just a nigga pay a nigga for a feature he might just come with that 12 bar verse or that or that mm. you know that 16 bar verse i'm coming with concepts i'm coming with hooks everything because i feel as though my name stamped on it like a nigga do a feature and give a nigga a freestyle verse or give a nigga an old verse or something that he never used i'm doing a feature i'm writing that shit right then and there like i got fucking hove on a feature and I'm shitting on that artist. I'm gonna make sure so we can fucking spread the spread the word. You never know where that artist is gonna take the song to. You feel me? So I'm showing my ass paws on every joint. You feel me? Right. Now rap money is really hard to get rap money. Like yeah. when you receive it, is it humbling or is it just like you know? It's, it's humbling. It's humbling because I don't gotta work. I don't gotta. I don't gotta do construction. The construction work I used to do. I don't gotta work at Walmart. I don't gotta work at Wendy's. So it's humbling. And I treat it just like it's a real job, man. I wake up in the morning, I come to the studio, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I pull all-nighters, I do overtime in the studio. That's my job. So it's like, I mean, I done bought houses off rap money, cars, you feel me? I done traveled. That's how I got to Texas when I saw you. It's all about Southwest, you know what I mean? Rap, lifetime. Rap money. All together in a lifetime. How much money do you think Quilly made all together? Shows, features? I, know I made like 50000 I made 46000 off real one. When we typed it up. Off the record alone? Yeah, yeah, just off the record, just off shows. Uh, not not the record as far as BDS. I'm talking about the record just as far as me collecting show money around it. BDS, that's a double check. I probably probably made like a quarter million. Seriously. About 250 off, yeah. off rap? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Shit. I, I know that. I know for sure probably more than that, man. Because yeah. it's like you add up the features, <laughs> like, uh, you pull in, if I'm getting 2500 I'm doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got shows till then. In between it, I got features. You know, I'm, I'm covering a dub a month, 15 yeah. grand a month, especially when the record, you know, the record God, <coughs> the record, when I first dropped real one, it was like crazy, you feel me? Show money, I'm three, four shows a week, back to back, two shows a day. So it's like, I know I cleared more than that, yeah. you know, over the five year uh, process. Do you feel like you're not as big as you should be? I feel as though I could be bigger and I feel as though, you know, a wall make everything happen for a reason. So, you know, from where I got the from 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 going to zero to a hundred and me starting from, you know, nothing and being where I'm at now, I worked here to get there. Mm -hmm. If it was more, I had to work there to get more, you feel me? And if it's less and if I'm sitting in jail for years and not doing nothing, I work to get that far, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you get in what you put out. You see what I'm saying? I wanna be bigger, but I know I gotta work to get there. It's not gonna fall out the sky for me. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Would you be satisfied being uh, like a J a Jada kiss or well, I'm not gonna say fabulous because he's kind of nationwide. But would you yeah. be would you be satisfied with being the hottest on the East Coast like a Jada kiss, like a Dipset, like a? No, hell no, I wouldn't be satisfied. Especially when dudes is from London is hitting me up, and I know I can go over there and collect a bag and do a show and get a feature. But you know, but you know nowadays, I mean, you know that I know this that. Every region, they don't really, they're, they're, they're too lazy to hear a lyrical, you yeah. know, East Coast artist. They're yeah. rather hear yeah. Young Thug. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they don't care about the lyrics. They just want a dope beat. Yeah. You know, you giving a dope beat and the, and the lyrics. They don't really, you know. And then when you get to a level like me, to where it's, though, it's, it's, it's like, you know, complex and the lyrics is hard and I go deep sometimes. It's so easy for me to dumb it down because I'm already intelligent. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm, where I'm coming from, Jay? It's, it's real easy for me no, to dumb right it now. down. For me to do a strip club, booty clap draw, or for me to do a uh, nay nay uh, sing along joint, you feel me? And to make easy listening music because I'm already co complex. You feel right. me? So exactly. it's easy for me to dumb it down. It's easy as shit. Philly support Philly. True or false? Philly support Philly is false.
Cause, cause you know we crabs in a barrel, man. We'd rather see a nigga. I mean, you know, you get that major artist that comes to the city, they not going to call my phone and call 10 other artists' phones and say, yo, we got Young Jeezy here at the club. Why don't you come here and get in VIP and listen and, you know, let them hear some music or we got him at the radio station. Why don't you come over here because we got this industry artist. People not going to do that. Club promoters not going to do that. You know, radio heads not going to do that. You got a handful of people that show love, but it's not Philly support Philly to me. I mean, would you consider yourself the most hated? Philly rapper right now? I'm the most loved, hated. You feel me? Cause it's like people want my spot. You know, people love me. They, you know, face to face, they embrace me as love. And when I leave, they might talk shit. You see what I'm saying? Just like with anybody else. Or mm -hmm. I'll fuck that nigga. He a bitch, and he don't do this, and he don't do that, or I don't bust his gun, and he ain't the goon. And it's not. I'm not. I don't portray myself to be that. You mm -hmm. know, I'm the wave lord. I, I'd rather get dressed, fuck bitches, and you know, eat good. You feel me? And make good songs and shit like that. You feel me? So you know, I, I'm the most loved, hated man. People love me and they hate me, then they love me again. I'm getting money. I guess they want me back hustling again. You feel me? Straight up. Right. It's been times where you know something probably controversial will happen with you. You know, they'll talk shit, and then the next day you'll drop a song, the same niggas who was talking shit, right. they'll be listening to your record. Repost this shit or anything, man. You know, in the car with they bitch, and, you know, yeah, turn that up, you feel me? <laughs> hear, me hear me on the come up show, and yeah, that's my man, and no, oh, he from back there, I knew him, and I know him, and, you know, it's crazy, man, Philly really crazy. But it's like you, that, that's how you know when you when you really working hard whenever your city, whenever Philly love you and they banging your shit and you on the radio heavy because it's a hard city to get loved by. Mm -hmm. 